historic Hereford has known nothing to equal this in 1795. Great areas of the Wye Valley were like a vast lake, with the river flowing almost 20 feet above normal, the highest ever. And though Hereford and Shrewsbury, not far away, were perhaps the worst hit places in the country, the plight of many others was little better. Almost heartbreaking even to look at, what can it have been like for the flood victims themselves? Fifty main roads in 21 counties were underwater after the gales and downpours of that disastrous weekend. With only hours of respite from the wettest autumn for a hundred years in some parts of the country, early winter went one worse. Imagine it, no gas or electricity, and in all this watery wilderness, not a drop that could be safely drunk. Boil it before drinking, advised the authorities, without saying how. Police and soldiers did what they could to carry food to people marooned upstairs. Similar scenes were witnessed in South Wales, the South West and in the North and East. In many areas, it was the second flood this winter, in some the third or fourth. It's impossible at this stage to know the full damage, but it'll be a staggering amount beyond local resources to meet. The government promises to help.